Gail's Southern Living. Do you know this channel? I bet you've seen her around. Maybe it's from the Monday shout outs or could it be the Simple Life Reclaimed Thankful Challenge? Or maybe even it was the Shed Wars 21 intro video with the cool jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. Gil's Southern Living does know her way around the garden. And couponing. Gil shows YouTube how a well-timed email or snail mail to a company can get you all sorts of free stuff. You don't need a coupon to get Pretzel Cat Miley. Pretzel Cat Miley and the chickens, yeah, they come with Gil's Southern Living. She shows us the different things that go into having chickens and the different things chickens can go into, <laughs> like recipes. Gail's Southern Living has a lot of non-chicken recipes also. There are lots of unboxings and shopping hauls and tutorials for your viewing pleasure. So when you have the time, check out what Gail's Southern Living can bring to your table. Struggling beekeeper Mark Cottrell. So I have a question and maybe after checking out his channel, you'll be able to answer it. Does struggling beekeeper refer to a struggling keeper of bees or is it because he keeps struggling bees? <laughs> this channel is mostly dedicated to Mark Cottrell's bee catching and maintaining them with a little bit of farm work and family fun thrown in. Mark has gotten a lot of experience catching swarms and then he builds them little bee condos so that they never want to leave. There's also really great videos on uh, mite treatment and hive assessment. And he loves making something called candy boards, which, you know, if you're not a beekeeper, it sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Pretty much all aspects of the bee journey, struggling beekeeper Mark Cottrell shares with us. Mark used to share his outdoor and trapping life on this channel, but those have moved to a second channel called Cottrell's Hunting and Trapping Outdoors. So, if you've got time for your dose of vitamin B, check out struggling beekeeper Mark Cottrell. The Homesteading Pastor. Yep, yep, it's exactly as the name suggests. And the channel is an even blending of life on the homestead and life as part of a flock. It took the homesteading pastor a few tries before mastering the camera for YouTube and now sharing their 17 acre South Carolina homestead is so much easier for him. This channel is packed with heartwarming stories and devotionals and you guessed it, homesteading and Lon is sharing it all, the good, the bad, the ugly, and he's grateful for all of it to boot. If you aren't seeing enough of the homesteading pastor in his videos, look into the comments section of his subscribers' videos because he's making his rounds. And did I mention he does devotions? <laughs> what about that dog, Eli? This reminds me of something. Between all the ins and outs of homesteading and working towards self-sufficiency, Lon keeps that attitude of gratitude, and then he passes it on to all of us. So, stop by and meet the homesteading pastor. Couponing, southern cooking and gardening, beekeeping just off the struggle bus, and South Carolina homesteading and devotions. Are these your people?